Now last video I did a short analysis on a unit I like quite a bit, Kunio Kun. But now I'm diving into a unit I despise, and that is Courier Cat. This unit is quite infamous in the Battle Cats community for essentially just breaking the game, and to some, ruining it. Courier Cat is a unit released with the Asian Eggs, and he is clearly the best one, and it's not even close, like there's no comparison to him and the other one. Unit similar to Cameraman. To name a few, Kazai Jizo, Cameraman, and Cyborg fit into these categories. Get a stat. His most important stats are his 25 movement speed, which is quite fast, 3300 DPS, area attack, 175 to 400 effective range, and 6.53 seconds cooldown. These are the characteristics of a spammable rusher unit. For a spammable unit, these stats are insane. Nice. Put into perspective how crazy those stats are, let's look at a similarly infamous spammable AoE cat, Kazai Jizo. They have very similar HP, however Kazai Jizo has slightly better survivability thanks to its extra knockback. On the other hand, Courier has around 37% more DPS and 10 units faster movement speed. And while it might seem that Kazai Jizo has more range, being having 320 range and Courier's being 175, Courier's effective range is 175 to 400, which means that with stepping stones he can achieve 400 range. Essentially, he is a more effective version of Kazai Jizo, and that's not even including his ability. Granted, Kazai Jizo is better against Blacks and Angels, but against every other trait, Courier is busted. You can also use him alongside other spammable attackers to improve his effectiveness, such as Cameraman and, yes, Kazai Jizo. This is before you even consider his abilities. Massive damage to Red and Behemoth. Sorry, not massive damage to Red and Behemoth. Massive damage and Behemoth Slayer. I'm just going to put this straight and simple. He single-handedly shuts down the Behemoth Meth. Me me he deals 2.5 times damage to Behemoth enemies and takes 0.6 from Behemoth and has a 5% chance to dodge for 1 second. But that's more or less irrelevant. Some deal around 8,250 DPS and increases his effective HP to around 35,700. Keep this in mind that he's spam. So, yeah. Actually, due to Courier Cat being so busted, they buff Behemoth to make him harder to beat. Unfortunately, this just ended up forcing people to use Courier Cat as he was basically essential to every behemoth state. I'm usually against nerfing cats, but seriously, it must it would have been much better just to nerf Courier than to buff all the behemoth stages. Like, that's not even fun. I hate behemoth enemies. Anyway, moving on to his anti-red capabilities, he is easily one of the best, if not the best, red anti-red in the game. No! No! When you stack them, he basically becomes a nuke that has medium range, which is perfect as most and red enemies have low range, and he is perfectly suited to take them out. This is also keeping in mind that red enemies are also slow and tanky, which are the perfect things to do, like just bread and butter. He has, wait, get this, 12k DPS at level 30. This is insane. To put this into perspective, Awakened Bahamut deals 33 DPS at level 30, which means that three courier cats are already dealing more damage than Bahamut. And he has more range, and he has less cooldown, and he's spammable, blah blah blah, all this goes on, he's so good. You can easily stack him up to four to five times, so just imagine that. Like, you're dealing, you could be dealing 100k DPS, 200k, and just decimating. And they can't even attack you because it's outside their range. He outranges Shy Boy, Red Boar, Red Cyclone, JK Bun Bun, and Cappy, which are the most common red enemies that will give you problems. If you pair him with Apple Cat, you can decimate both red stages, let's be honest. Now, these are all great, but why do I think we should remove him? Well, Courier Cat is an absolutely game-breaking unit, and that's not debatable. His ability to stack and destroy stages even beats the like of Kazai Jizo, another game-breaking unit that I don't like that much. Courier completely changes the way you can view some stages, and you can completely overwhelm this unit alone. I honestly think that releasing this unit and the Behemoth trait was Ponos' worst mistake, and this playstyle is just spam until you get carpal tunnel is, isn't fun. Battle Cats in the end is a game about strategy and underage gambling. And Courier Cat takes us all away and turns this game into a cookie clicker. It takes away the creativity the player has and replaces it with a cheap coffee of just Apple Cat and Courier Cat and some meat chills. What is that? What I love about Battle Cats is that you have to constantly change your lineups to better suit the stage you are playing depending on the enemies. I love the variety of units and their different usages from meat shields to nukers to crowd controllers and others. So having a one size fit all for a unit isn't well just it's 
not fun and in interesting. I mean, even Dark Castle needs some meat shields to back her up and stuff. Like, you can't solo run Dark Castle and expect it to go well. So maybe my opinion is, well, he's not really a good addition to Battlecast, but I went ahead and asked Reddit a very reliable source of information for their opinions on Koryo Cat to see what they think. r slash Battlecats join its great subreddit, they have a lot of funny things and they'll help you and stuff, so yeah. So anyway, here's what some people said. Oh. Xgall Battlecats, great YouTuber by the way, go check him out, says His stats, especially his DPS and speed, are too high for his cost. Spammable AoE attackers have historically been one of the strongest roles for non-Uber units, and Courier being one of them is why early to mid-game gets clowned on. His niche is too strong. DPS-based unit, who already has too much value, gains multipliers. Being the first egg unit introduced means behemoths have to be balanced around an overpowered unit if they don't want to be irrelevant, creating an unhealthy strategy. Holly12344 says, He is a good generalist, is good against behemoths, and before him, the only spammable anti-red was the elemental duelist, who was trash. Plus massive damage and behemoth slayer stack, which makes his damage ridiculous. If they didn't stack, I think it would be much more balanced. Don't remove me! Bob the Builder 226 says, Coria has stupid stats. Those stats get inflated against Behemoth. Current late game is infested with Behemoth. Coria deletes Behemoth. You thus run Coria on every Behemoth lane up. Ponus is then forced to make stupid or child friendly channel like Relic Johnny, Leon, <laughs> and Rajakon to compensate. Fun unit. Okay, that was kind of funny. Goatkeeper says because Ponos forgot that they can just nerf him. Example Dark Laser lost her area attack, Peach Devil's got an attack speed nerf. Loki got his HP reduced from 1.5 million to 1.1 million enemy unit, but still shows that Ponos could cut Port Courier's base stats. Mecha Buns lost some of his piercing range, max 270 to max 240. But yeah, most stages were not made with the spam barrel LV attacker in mind. So yeah, I think the correct solution was to be either nerf Courier Cat by a lot. So he's still viable, but he's not necessary, and he's not mandatory and overpowered. Or just remove him completely. Uh, removing Behemoth straight seems like a little bit of an overkill at this point, considering how much work Ponos has put into it. But I don't think it would be unreasonable to nerf Courier Cat and nerf Behemoths, or remove Courier Cats. Overall, it seems like Courier Cat isn't that well thought out of a unit. He's not very well designed in any sort of capacity and it seems like Pono saw other spammable units like Cameraman and Kazai Jizo and thought, hey, let's do that again. And as you can see, it didn't turn out well. This might be the single most game breaking unit. I hope Ponos does something about this because I avoid behemoth stages and I do not use Courier Cat unless I have to. Because it's not fun to play and neither are behemoth stages. So yeah, Ponos, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, I don't know, just no, do something, anything. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, uh, you know, <laughs> leave a like, maybe subscribe, maybe, I, I don't know, you don't have to. Um, if you like more video essays like this, can you guys like tell me, like mini video essays, sort of like I've been watching a lot of YouTubers like Lemino and I kind of, and like other YouTubers that make video essays on video games and I've been kind of inspired to do the same thing instead of my usual gameplay. Um, I'm thinking of remaking the best of every Ubers, like just fixing all the mistakes I made and making a remastered version, sort of. So yeah, I guess if you want to look forward to that. Um, but anyways, thanks for the Reddit community to help me get some opinions, community opinions, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.